there's that, there's that church, I know exactly where I am, no, uh, no I do not, there's a cute car in front of us, and could I open the map, yes, am I going to, no, did I open the map earlier, and I've immediately forgotten what it said also, yes, okay, well I can see high rises, so I feel like Heading in the general direction of the high rises is a good idea, right? Um, we could also like follow the train tracks. Um, okay. So yeah, we have um, a year train. I heard somewhere. Oh, there. Oh, it's not train. It's like the little. Uh, you know, metro kind of system. Well, Sentos transport. Uh, oh, look, the blimp. The blimp. Slurry in a hurry. Yum. Doesn't that sound good? Okay, I'm gonna third person it for just a little bit. Alright, and we are back. Uh, you 
you know, like before we had so much online ASMR content, oh, this is definitely not where I meant to go, um, we had to rely on like uh, an eye doctor appointment or um, that was my big one, a haircut maybe for our ASMR experiences. And um, I feel that I've become, it's kind of oversaturated. I listen to so much ASMR just in my spare time when I'm not working on my own videos that I, my body's kind of become desensitized to it, right? And that happens to us. So sometimes a real life experience will kind of give me those tingles and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this feeling. Because in my mind, there's a difference between ASMR you get online and IRL ASMR. There's just a little difference. It almost feels like the, the real life ASMR is in like a, a pure undiluted form of ASMR. <laughs> and I didn't really get tingles from this rain tapping, but it was really nice. And it was just like a very blissful moment. Um, I keep finding myself back in the same area. These little bridges. <laughs> that you're definitely not supposed to take a car over. Oh, maybe I can turn down here. It's a small car. Then you 
you'll always get your feelings hurt when others laugh at you. I must have some cat hair around my nose because it's so itchy.
lettuce and half a red bell pepper and I'm like maybe I can do something that will involve like both of that and I'm like well I could do like you know a taco night or something um just get some meat and season it and get some tortillas and add the lettuce I can you know saute that red pepper to go in it uh, but I didn't have any <laughs> I have some tortillas I should say but they're really old and I question how okay I would be after eating them so I thought I'll get some fresh tortillas um, or some hard shells and get some meat because uh, I usually don't have like ground beef on me um, just don't eat it a lot and I feel like I feel like it's a little healthier not to eat you know red meat all the time so I try not to but every now and then it's okay, you know, it's a little, it's a little treat. So I had to run out to the store this morning, long story short, get some meat. And they actually had a like buy one, get one free on those taco kits, you know, the ones for white people. I'm just kidding, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I got a couple of those and I'm gonna make tacos tonight. Because I was gonna finish up my shrimp and yellow rice for lunch But now I find myself with Because it was buy one, get one free Twice as many taco shells as I was originally planning to get It's 12 in a package, but it was buy one, get one free So I now have 24 <laughs> I got two pounds of meat I'm like, there's no way I can do leftover lunch and all these tacos for dinner, so I'm gonna eat my delicious leftover shrimp and yellow rice another time this week and my tacos tonight and I also have a salmon that I'm making sometime this week and uh, I had like a chicken a sun-dried tomato chicken recipe that I was also making. So, I've planned out my weekly meals quite extensively this week. I don't normally do that. I usually wing it way more. Uh, and, you know, the plans can change. That's fine. Like, sometimes I... You know what? There's, like, way too many cars around. Why did, why did the time change? Oh, it went down to dawn. Ah, uh, let's make it sunset. They are so aggro today. And it's definitely because I'm driving, like, carefully. I would not say I've been driving carefully, but, you know, it's programmed so that, like, if you're not driving recklessly and causing collisions and crashing into everyone and everything, then the NPCs will start targeting you. It's wild, but it actually does happen. And that's why usually, like, at least once in my videos, an NPC will hit me. I still feel like there's so many cars to say this is meant to be a low vehicle density. Less cars than this. But okay. Um, I'm actually gonna stay on the highway rather than taking the exit here. Just gonna keep going till the sun sets. And my stomach is starting to growl a little bit. I'm already regretting the fact that I said I was gonna skip lunch to eat a bigger dinner. I'm gonna make it early, don't worry. I'm not gonna like starve myself all day. I'm gonna make dinner at like four or so. <laughs> you know, um, I wanna have time to let my food settle because I like to work out in the evenings and I can't do that right after I <laughs> eat, obviously. I need a good few hours to let it settle. I like to at 
exercise at like 8 to 9 p.m. like really late. I think it's because growing up I had dance classes anywhere between 6 to like 8 p.m. going for an hour. So I'm very accustomed to that feeling of late at night. You work up a sweat, you come home, you shower, and then you maybe like relax and read a bit before bed and that like I'm very programmed to do that. So I've been getting back into the swing of doing that in the evening and it's been really nice. And my PC is like so loud today. Why are you, you don't, you're not normally this loud when I play GTA. Calm down. there were, or not shadows, but the reflections in the water were a little, a little weird just then. See, I've been talking about food so much, which is probably a mistake because I'm making myself hungry and maybe I'm making you hungry and I'm so sorry if that's the case. Uh, oh, low clear. It's a good thing we're in a tiny little car. Just a little tiny one. Maybe it my PC as much because I'm uh, only using the one mic. If I use two mics, it tends to be a lot more sensitive. Uh, you know, double the sensitivity, double the mic in, uh, input. So it tends to, you tend to hear the background noise a little bit more. But while I was out at shopping, it did start to rain a little bit. Ran inside. Oh, I love this. Look how cool that looks. It's there's something very cyberpunk to me, and it's not even particularly cyberpunk, but about neon lights in the reflection of rain puddles. You know, that neon, um, <laughs> neon rain combo is like so cyberpunk.
alone in this video, I feel like, um, like, I don't know, like, I just sat down and it's already been like half an hour. So I don't know why it's, uh, maybe just having fun doing the face cam with you guys. I've been trying to do more face cam videos because I find them really fun. Feels a little bit more like, um, like I actually am getting to hang out with you guys. Of course, it's still far easier to not do them, and so I'll still make them from time to time. <gasps> Look at this limo. Is it actually pink or is it just the lining? I think it's white. Well, actually, I can't tell, so hold on, you know how I can tell is I can just change the lighting.
videos a week. I love you guys.